a morning. We are here at the base of Potosi and Tea Kettle Mountain. Potosi is gonna be our objective today. That's gonna be there right over my right shoulder. And it is looking beautiful. It is gonna be a scree fest battle, characteristic of most of the San Juans. And the trail even beginning is fairly difficult to find, at least right off the road. You can see the road down there behind me. Through the trees, you can just make out some white cars. That's the outhouse parking lot. And you'll want to head uphill here toward your objective, mainly really toward Coffee Pot, which is a smaller peak between the two mentioned. And uh, there is a Karen right here. So I could not find the trail any lower though. But we've got that bad boy. So that's the only help we're gonna get. And parking just downhill of the outhouse is probably the best place to set up. Um, I parked at the outhouse and had to do some bushwhacking. All right, well, here we come, Potosi. Wish me luck. Looks like we're going the right way. Beautiful scene too. After working a zigzaggy path up this lower section below me, I found myself on this sharp ridge directly below the coffee pot and directly above the outhouse parking. So that's how that worked. And then at one point I was crossing some pretty scary talus dams going under and across them, which was the only choice I had. It was a little nerve wracking. Didn't want the dam to break and get buried in there, but uh, but the ridge is cool. So here's what that looks like. From here, we'll just cruise straight up toward the coffee pot, stick to this ridge, and then kind of break off right when it gets vertical. So that's our plan. We'll see you up there. Oh, yes. Wow. A little more to go to the coffee pot. That's the Karen for the tea kettle. Wow. Cool mess. Thought we'd make a quick stop. Wow. Pretty amazing here. All right, Carl Decker would like to present a little bit of class five climbing to get up to coffee pot. This is 13.7, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But wow, pretty sweet. Must have a pretty gnarly climb up though, and kind of breaky rock, so. I don't know if I could really recommend it. There is an anchor there as well. So you could repel, but I'm not sure how much that really helps. Beautiful place. But we'll just keep on moving from here. Show you a couple cool things. Emma, Gilpin, 
Then we've got Sneffels, all our favorites. And then Surf Mountain is that kind of more mellow looking summit. And then we've got Tikal right there. That was a great climb. Class five as well, but it's just the last like 30, 40 feet onto that summit spire. Beautiful place. But today the objective, Potosi Peak. Although I will say this was nothing to sneeze at, at all. Pretty, uh, pretty vertical. Okay, so here's the little technical portion of the coffee pot. It's short, but it's rotten. You can stuff yourself into that chimney up there and kind of hope for the best. And you do stick because it's so cheese gratery. But, uh, but not the greatest climb. Cool, cool summit though. Man, this circus, beautiful. And dead ahead, the adventure zone number two. This traverse from the saddle has been rough. Actually, both sides of the saddle. Oh, pretty rough. So, take my word for it. Man, cool here though. There is a trail, but sometimes it just turns to crap. And the views are still to die for. This house I might die of. Okay, I am traversing back above the trail that I took traversing out to that point. And I think I'm getting close to the gully where I want to ascend. I think call it good. I have seen several cairns as well. All right, I came from left of frame and then kind of along this little ledge up this pretty nasty gully. God is saying, I was seeing carriage and footsteps the whole way, although I do think I was a little past the standard route by letting myself get out on that big flat point before turning up. Actually, on the way home, I'm gonna just try going this way. Alrighty then, we have climbed up another horrendous gully, and it was a lot of work. This mountain is a lot of work. A lot of slipping and sliding. But at least there are cairns all over the place now, as you can see right down below me, hopefully. And there's others above as well. last little step and I think we've made it to the top and yeah this one is a slodge the looseness is a bitch and I think me getting off route didn't help either so there was that but it is beautiful here as all San Juan summits you really can't complain at all about what you see from the top 
Look at that. Looking more down into the west is the beautiful Yankee Boy Basin. Boy, that is always so cool. And then on the left here is Governor Basin. Another oh, just awesome one. Oh boy. Look at that. gotten down from Potosi and it was rough. Definitely a major route finding challenge. The area just below the saddle between Potosi and Coffee Pot is just laced with canyons and it was very difficult traversing trying to find ways down. I would say overall this trip going up very difficult, loose, not super bad but you know not a gimme. And then the traverse to Potosi was loose again, very loose, rough, taxing. And then uh, route finding in order to turn up at the right time was also difficult and definitely thwarted me. I went too far and then ended up traversing back on a ledge system, actually that you can see up there, and, uh, and then finding the proper route to the summit. And I don't know how you'd find the proper route from that traversing trail. So I can't recommend this adventure too highly unless you are a glutton for punishment, great at route finding, and really good on steep, loose terrain because you're gonna get a lot of all of that when you do this trip. So uh, again, not gonna endorse this one. One of my few that I, I'm not going to, but it was wild, crazy, and rough, and, uh, and beautiful, I gotta say that. But I am pretty much beat to a pulp and just ready to get on home. So hopefully you enjoy the trip and we'll see you on the next one.